Alrighty, welcome to my garage again. So today we're going to talk about static pressure testers and kind of like uh, my the evolution for for me. So what we're going from, what I started from, what I'm going to, and what I'm liking and what I don't like. So again, this is my dryer. This was the something I started with, the Dura Block. God forbid, this is what I used to haul around, spank this onto a unit. But it was a pain in the ass. You had to sit there and balance it out. You had to adjust your uh, adjust your fluid, get it right on zero. Hook your, you know, you've got your negative and positive ports. And basically, this is what I used to read static back in the early days when I first got started. Had no money. Picked this up on eBay for like three bucks, and I used it extensively. I still use it on big systems on occasions. I mean, for transverse purposes and whatnot. You know, you got your longer pitted tubes. You can do a lot of calculations on airflow, CFM, and uh, so it has its purpose, but maybe sees the light of day about every, I don't know, once a year, if that. So I went from the Dwyer Dura Block or Inclinometer, or whatever you want to call it for static pressure readings, and I went to, uh, I believe it's uh, just something really basic. Again, simple carrying case, but uh, I went to a Testo. You know, the old Testo, pretty durable, Testo 510. And you know what? It still goes, it still works. I love it. Battery case has always been goobered, so, you know, silver tape on the back. But, uh, well, never had problems with it. And this is being retired from doing static to, uh, you know, just doing gas pressure, kind of checking pressure switches. You know, differential pressure across, you know, all, you know, pressure switches and whatnot. I mean, back in the days, I used to use, you know, I guess a full piece, back, you know, in the early days, this piece of shit. But, uh, yeah, so the test has been expired. Now it just does basic gas pressure testing and whatnot. But you're limited up to 20 inches of water column on the Testo. So for 2 inches and 5, uh, I'm tired, 2 pounds and 5 pounds systems, you got to be careful with it. But it does a great job on adjusting your LP and natural gas on furnaces and boilers and checking inducers and net pressure switches. The last 5 years, I've been using this bad boy. I love it. It's perfect. It's my uh, Magna Helic. You know, you got your, your tubes. Okay, a little trusty screwdriver to zero that sucker out, and of course, your pit of tubes. I've used this thing non-stop to set up, commission, and uh, work on variable pitch pulleys, and get things really tuned in on rooftop units, and you know, also do diagnostics and troubleshooting of furnaces and anything else that needs static pressure, and look at pressure drops across systems. This has been perfect for me. I enjoy it. Reading fluid, you can see the airflow operating, and um, can't go wrong with it. It's a great little device. Alrighty, now for what I'm coming to. I went out and purchased this uh, about two weeks ago. The SPM 100, made by AAB. Uh, where Johnstone's had a kind of a screaming deal on them. I think AAB is trying to get them out there for us as technicians that give them a try. Uh, I'm not an Apple person, so I'm happy to know that it uh, uses Android. But again, you just got to make sure if you use an Android, your Android device is a Bluetooth Smart, which luckily, I don't even know what that means. Mine is, I guess, because I download the app and uh, it works. Quick thing first, though, is they sell separately the pitted tubes and the hoses. It's a separate kit. You don't have to get it if you got your own hose pitted tubes, but I went ahead and got it anyways. Comes in this luxury uh, Paris Hilton style iPod carrying case, which is useless. It's kind of like a tent. As soon as you take it all out, you can never get it back together. So it really kind of pissed me off. But I kind of play with some ideas. I mean, we got all this plastic here for some tubing and pitots. So I was kind of hoping I could take it apart, maybe fit the, the actual device inside here and keep this all as one carrying case. But yeah, garbage. So, I don't ever use the old smart tester anymore. Don't see very many uh, smart valves or anything similar. So, I expired the smart tester out of the truck and I'm using the carrying case for that. Now for the, for this, uh, a, the, for the SBM 100. So, let me see what we got here. So again, I got my tubes, 
We've got the pivots. Obviously, they color code them. It's part of the app. It'll tell you where to put each pivot tube or static probe in the system, whatever you're measuring. Inside, you have the SPM 100. I still have it in its condom. For calibrating purposes, you pop the caps on the app. I'll ask you to calibrate first, calibrate it, and then basically it's Wi Fi and you read or write your smartphone. Now, last week I did a startup on five rooftop units, all one in one next to another, and I drilled holes. I ran the pitted tubes off my Dwyer Magna Helic, and I ran these right next to each other so they're in the same airflow stream. Surprisingly, SP100 was exactly on with my Magna Helic. The only difference is, is resolution. This updates about every, I don't know, two to five seconds on air pressure. So it's a very slow increase and decrease until it stabilizes. But, you know, we know it never really stabilizes. On Magna Helic, you still have the luxury of seeing the fluid motion of the needle moving. So you kind of get a window of operation. You know what? I'm retiring my Magna Helic. I'm very impressed with this SBM 100. The interesting part too, it does up to 70 inches of water column. That's freaking amazing. Well, I think they say 75. I've tried this on a two pound natural gas regulator. That's 58 inches of water column. This had no problems handling it and reading it. I guess the next test I haven't gone to is see if this will read negative pressure. Or, you know, obviously it's, you can use it for natural gas and LP. Uh, uh, pressure adjustments, but I'm wondering and I haven't gotten there yet and heating season hasn't come yet I'm wondering if you can throw this on inducers read differential pressure or cross pressure switches I'm not sure the accuracy of that, but hey at point zero zero four on the accuracy on the resolution of the gauges I'm sure I'll read it just fine We'll see what happens, but I just wanted to say that I'm really impressed with this little bad boy I'm using it from now on Alrighty, well That's the evolution of my life Durablock to uh, the Testo, to the Magna Helic, now to the SPM 100. It's a badass little device. I suggest it to you guys. Don't have to get this crap if you don't already have it. I just got it for shits and giggles. But uh, again, the case is useless. It's just pretty. That's all. Uh, any questions? SLC Tech on HVAC Talk. But other than that, I'm sold. Enjoy.